Right, if you need to get the bonnet open because your cable's broken on a Skoda Superb, this is a 2013, the same model as a 2012. So that probably means from about 2010 onwards. Um, you just take it. Right, this is how to open the, uh, the bonnet on a Skoda Superb with a broken release cable. Or seemingly broken. As it turns out, this wasn't broken, it had just become detached. Um, Skoda want uh, about a hundred pounds an hour to do this for you and no doubt they may say it's taken them a couple of hours who knows but I didn't use Skoda because I thought that was going to be too expensive so anyway you go to the front of the Skoda to the, to the right hand side of the lower grill so below the main grill you got the lower grill and then you you pull out the section here it's just a small section and then you need to wriggle your hand inside. Just a little panel there that you remove. I don't know if you can see that. Just a little plastic panel that you just move out of the way. And then you put your hand inside with a, we use this here. It's only about 12 inches long. And we go through, up inside. Now obviously you'll be doing this because the, the bonnet down, but I've removed the top here, which you can only do once you've got the bonnet open, but I've removed it so you can see what we're doing inside. So you need to get your hand up inside and aim for this. This is the bonnet release. We've pressed it down in the middle so that it's as if the bonnet is closed and you'll see it release. When we get the lever on the right place, you'll see it release the, uh, the lock. So you have to work your, your hand up inside from that position. Uh, onto this clip and turn it and it's released that took us five minutes so be interesting if you leave any comments below about how much Skoda has charged anyone to do that job for you yes yeah, so you're aiming for a little tab there's a little tab just under here just up underneath so if you put the tool up right and then turn it and then pull the tab down right hopefully that's going to save you a lot of money Right, there's a little junction box here that goes from the bonnet. The two cables join together and in, in our case, the cable hadn't broken, it had just popped out. You can see the, the end of the, of the cable just here and it, and it just popped out. So what, what we did was we, we popped it back in, popped it back in and then so it can't pop out again, we'll turn the, um, we'll turn the connector over. Because if you leave it in the up position, the, 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 it, it might pop out again. So we're going to turn turn it around upside down. It's a bit fiddly, but it's worth the effort. Pop the cover back on. And then just slot it back under the the gully there. That's taken us about five, maybe ten minutes at the most. And yet some are saying it's taken them hours. So there's that satisfying pop again as the bonnet lifts.